Welcome back to Maria Antoinette TV. I am Maria Antoinette. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and it is protective style season. But before we get into how I did these beautiful braids, I wanna share with you how to care for your hair before you braid it and after you braid it. Today's video is sponsored by Head & Shoulders and that's exactly who I'm going to talk to you guys about. I washed my hair with Head & Shoulders Dry Scalp Care with almond oil and then I also used the Hair & Scalp Conditioner. Both of these are allowing my scalp to get completely clean and to go ahead and prep it so that my scalp won't be dry when I put the braids in. Starting with blown out hair, I'll then section my hair into four sections for ease and to help keep my design in order. Now, this side piece that I'm about to show you is where I will be doing box braids. This is how you get the fullness, guys. This is a tip, 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 tip. I use five bags of Harlem 123 Jumbo Braid Hair in number two. My best tip is to section your final braid sides out then break that down into your small feed in sections like this always make sure the first few pieces are smaller then move to larger pieces i worked with six to ten pieces depending on where i was on my head now <laughs> parting is going to be the biggest challenge for this style i used an extra mirror a lot of patience and I have the strongest arms ever at this point. Take your time, give yourself grace. Always check your work. All right, so I'm putting a little edge control on for ease of grip in that professional look because <laughs> we only do professional around here. Braid your own hair a few times back before you start the feed in process. I know that went fast. I did three rows from the hairline to the nape now I'll slow down and show you the feed in process. My section is parted out and ready to go. You can see that this section starts very thin. Take a small piece of the braiding hair and wrap it around a fine piece of your hair. Then begin to corn roll as you normally would. You'll notice on this part, I started with the braiding hair versus my own hair first. This gives a very crisp start and more definition. To add in the braiding hair, simply start with it behind your head, grip with your pinky finger, and tuck the other side under your pointer finger and grip with your thumb. Move the braid hair into the section and corn roll on as you would. Something that always helps me when I do my feed in corn rolls is to make sure that I always add my hair on the same hand position as I did the first piece of add in hair. It doesn't matter if I braid down a couple, it doesn't matter if I braid every time my hand hits that position on my head, I always add it in with my left hand. Another thing, when doing this on yourself, it gives you a lot of freedom to be as perfect or imperfect as you wanna be. Just allow yourself grace. I cannot stress that enough. There was several times in this hairstyle that I had to take a full braid down and start over. So don't get discouraged, you can do it. Remember when I said, always check your work? I was not playing. Oh, and guys, I was braiding this with no visuals. I used that mirror in my viewfinder on my camera. Yes, so if I can do it that way, you can do it too. To get your braid to lay flush against your head so it doesn't like stick out or fall down, you're going to want to braid past your hair. Like that's on your scalp, you're gonna to wanna to braid past your scalp a couple of times before switching your hands over. And then you wanna make sure that you keep braiding in the same way. Six braids in that section later, I am now ready to move on to my box braid section. You guys, I'm going to do three rows, three to four box braids in each row. I'm taking my braided hair that I sectioned out for my full braid size and I split it in three fourths and one fourth and I loop them together making three evenly distributed sections of hair. I'm now going to put that behind my head and I am going to start box braiding that into my hair. If you cannot see in great detail what I am doing here to start a box braid, I have an amazing box braid video that is going to pop up on your screen up at the top right hand corner that will link you directly to it and it breaks everything down for you. 
10 box braids later, I move back to the back of my head and do four more rows before I move to this part. We're almost done with the side swoot cornrows, you guys. Woo, praise God. Again, because we're starting with such a fine start, a thin start, we're going to start with wrapping the braid hair around a thin section of your own hair, braid it back a few times, really gripping small pieces as you braid back. You'll see my fingernail is kind of keeping everything in place. I always seem to tuck it right underneath where I just braided. And now we're gonna feed it in. Grip with your pinky, tuck it under your ring finger, grip with your thumb, and continue to braid back. I did four of these style braids, wrapping from my temple to the side. And now it's time to do the last section in the front. I have a very in-depth video on how to do feed in corn rolls, but your girl, had to learn how to do it forward. So it took me two tries and an hour to figure this out. So hopefully you guys will get it. All right, so I am sectioning off a fine part of my starting hair. I'm taking my braided hair and I am going to loop that around my own natural hair. Okay, so you're gonna loop that around your hair. I'm then going to position my hands, which is awkward because you're moving forward and not backwards. So. I would practice without adding the hair. Once you master the actual corn roll, then you can move forward. I am going to grip through. Yep, like that. Put my finger down to hold that into place. Secure it. And then I'm going to grip through again, this time picking up a little bit of my natural hair. I'm going to do a couple of these passes before I start to add hair in. Now, I've seen people where they add pieces in each time and they do really tiny pieces. For my style braid, I just went with the same way that I did the rest of my braids and it worked out great. Okay, let's see this again. Grabbing my feed in hair, I'm going to loop it around my pointer finger and thumb and then I'm going to take my middle finger parting out a section on both hands, always keeping that hair gripped between my pointer finger and thumb as I'm moving forward. And one more time without me talking through and interrupting you. One thing that I found myself doing was checking and checking and checking. Because these are feed in, that means they are graduate. They go from tiny to thicker, but you want your thickness to kind of start in the same position. So constantly check so everything remains uniform. That's another trick to making it look professional. And FYI, I do redo those first two braids in the front now that I've mastered it. And that's the beauty of doing your own hair. With my hot water ready and prepped, I am now able to seal the ends of my hair. I had some people request seeing this. You just simply take hot water, put it in a large cup, dip the ends of the synthetic braid into the hair, and that seals it and also gives it like a nice fine point. And you know you cannot walk out the house without them edges laid. So your girl is laying those edges. My braids are in. My scalp is a little tight. I have a little bit of irritation. But this right here, mon frere, is going to save the day. The clinical solution from Head and Shoulders is a leave-on treatment that you simply spray on your scalp rub in and go on about your business. There is nothing that feels better. This also helps me to deal with my dandruff or flaking that I might get as I wear these braids over the next two weeks. I don't have to commit to shampooing my whole head. I can use this and your girl and her scalp are gonna be good to go. Some common questions I get. How do you get your hair to grow in protective styles? For me, I don't wear my protective styles that long, which allows me to make sure that my hair is not having as much tension and being pulled as much. I also try to make sure that I take care of my scalp because if you have a healthy scalp, you will have healthy hair. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this amazing video and uh, you know what you need to do to get yourself ready for your protective style. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.